the Maltese is the oldest of the toy breeds and one of the first dog breeds to be recognized. These petite, resilient canines have lovable, active dispositions that make them great companion dogs if they are properly trained. The sweet, friendly personality of the Maltese has always been admired. These energetic little dogs are natural hams that thrive on their owner's attention. A Maltese, which is descended from miniature spaniels and poodles, has a lively active nature and will keep you occupied well into adulthood. In this video, we bring to you 12 fascinating facts about Maltese dogs. But first, if you would like to keep getting useful tips and guides about your dogs or cats, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because we constantly bring useful info that will help you be a better pet owner. Let's get started. 1. Their name reflects their origin. Unlike certain breeds, the Maltese dogs are said to have originated in Malta. They are descended from a spitz-like dog that was once common in the area and was employed to hunt rodents. Some believe the small dogs have a foothold in Asia, but the evidence is mixed. The Maltese's history has been difficult to piece together because the name was once used to describe a variety of toy dog breeds, and many historical references to Maltese dogs were really descriptions of Pomeranians. There's one theory that sticks out among the others though. The earlier breed of Maltese dogs, according to it, had long silky hair and was in high demand. However, they became extinct over a period of time. 2. The white fur is no accident. According to history, the Romans are to thank for the immaculate white coat that the breed is known for today. The color white was a holy hue and symbol for the Roman emperors throughout the time of the Roman Empire, and because they kept these dogs as royal pets, they wanted them to display that purity and divinity via the color of their fur. All we can do is appreciate the Romans for giving us one of the most adorable and attractive dogs on the planet. 3. They've been around a while. The Maltese is one of the oldest dog breeds, with a history dating back over 2,800 years. These small dogs rested contentedly on the laps of ancient Greeks, Romans, and Egyptians. Our favorite Maltese is one of Europe's oldest toy breeds. Researchers unearthed Egyptian antiques of Maltese dogs, indicating that the ancient Egyptians previously revered this breed. Their images can also be seen on ancient Greek pottery. 4. They are powerful jumpers. The Maltese dog breed is bold and enjoys exploring and discovering new things. They also have a lot of energy, which, combined with their quick bodies, makes them great jumpers in general. Even though they appear little and dainty when laying on the couch, these dogs will jump and run to reach where they want to go. This can include leaping from one thing to the next, jumping out of higher ledges or other high locations, and leaping out of your reach and the safety of your grasp without warning. As a precaution, it's also a good idea to store your prized possessions and priceless keepsakes out of the reach of your furry companion. 5. Companions to the Royals Many emperors and monarchs have had Maltese dogs as pets for many years. It's most likely due to their long silky hair, capacity to restore health, and consistent companionship. The Maltese are thought to frequently assist when there is a health concern, giving them the title of comforter. The Queen of Scots and the British Queen's own Maltese. These lap dogs were popular among royalty, queens, in particular, adored them and fed them from gold plates. In Egypt and Greece, where owners would build ornate graves for their departed dogs, the dog's resemblance has been seen on pottery and other works of art. 6. The breed almost disappeared. This might be surprising, but the drive to create little dogs is nothing new. There were attempts in the 17th and 18th centuries to turn the Maltese into a teacup breed. The Maltese was on the verge of extinction due to a lack of veterinary care, expertise, and experience required to care for such a little dog. The current Maltese is owed to British dog breeders for conserving the breed and developing the lineages that led to it. Although the Maltese is a long-established breed, it was not until the latter part of the 19th century that they made their way to America. 7. Maltese dogs don't shed. Maltese have a long silky coat that makes them look almost decorative. However, did you know that they are one of the few hypoallergenic dog breeds that do not shed? This is due to the fact that the breed lacks an undercoat beneath the long white hairs that cover their whole body, making them less inclined to shed. Brushing or combing their fur once a week, on the other hand, 
will assist to maintain their coat's health. It's also a good idea to take them to a groomer every now and then to get the hair around their faces trimmed so they can at least see where they're going. If you don't want to waste time taking your Maltese to the groomer, you may also clip their hair at home. 8. They can easily get sunburned. It may go unnoticed most of the time, but our pets, like us, may get sunburned during the summer months. This is most noticeable in the Maltese dog breed, which has light pale skin beneath its gleaming white fur coat. This is also a concern since as previously said, the Maltese lacks an undercoat. When they spend a lot of time outside, this makes their coats finer and their skin more apparent to the sun's rays. If you decide to welcome one of these puppies into your house, make sure to exercise caution when they are outside for long periods of time. 9. Classification Disagreement There has been significant controversy among dog lovers and other dog enthusiasts all over the world for some years about whether the Maltese dog breed should be categorized as a terrier or a spaniel breed. Although no final judgment has been reached, the Maltese does share many characteristics with the spaniels that we see in today's world. Because no decision has been reached and the dispute is still ongoing, the Maltese is merely classified as a toy breed or toy dog, which is a quite ambiguous classification. 10. They are one of the smaller dog breed in the world. Because of its small stature, the Maltese is popular in households, among dog owners, and among competitors all over the world. When fully grown, the dog breed weighs around 7 pounds and becomes one of the best lap dogs you can have. If you're into the entire purse dog situation, they're also simple to carry with you, making them a highly flexible toy breed to have in your house and with your family. In either case, their little stature and presence make them fascinating to so many dog lovers all around the world. 11. They can live for quite a long time. Unlike some other dog breeds available today, the Maltese dog breed may live for more than a decade if properly cared for. Their usual lifetime is between 12 and 18 years. This implies that you should take your pets to the vet on a yearly basis to have them checked out, receive any essential vaccinations, and receive any other treatment they may require. It's also crucial to keep an eye on them at all times, leaving them outside unsupervised, given their size and stature, can result in a variety of potentially dangerous circumstances. 12. One was a millionaire. Undertake trouble, the $2 million Maltese. Leona Helmsley, a real estate developer, died in 2007 and bequeathed $12 million to her dog in her will. The legacy was later reduced to a meager $2 million, but that didn't stop the dog from living the good life until her death in 2011. The bottom line is, it should be emphasized that Maltese are high-energy individuals that enjoy playing about. So, keep that in mind if you want to keep them as a pet. Given their caring and kind temperament, Maltese make excellent pets. You may snuggle them when you're sad or even take them with you while doing chores. Their adorable beauty is the icing on the cake. So, do you own a Maltese? What is your little furball like? Please leave a comment below. Also, if this video has been helpful, don't forget to hit the like button.